The worldwide demand for pollinator dependent crops is growing year on year, and at the same time, agriculture is challenged by increasing restriction of pesticides. So, we've drawn together a framework for integrated pest and pollinator management, and that seeks to uh, focus on providing dual benefits for pest control and pollination while at the same time minimizing the conflicts. So that starts off with promoting agroecosystem diversity in the landscape to provide a range of food and habitat resources to both pollinators and biological control agents. Using cultivars that are both resistant to pests and attract pollinators. Cultural control practices like intercropping, which help suppress weeds and insects, but also give a flow of ecosystem services to the main crop. Managed pollinators and biological control agents, which can be used if services from beneficial insects in the landscape are not sufficient. Bioactive natural products, things like plant extracts, which can provide more sustainable alternatives to conventional pesticides, which are used as a last resort. The IPPM framework prioritizes actions which delivers pollination and natural biocontrol by wild species, rather than curative actions which require higher resource inputs by the farmer. Really translating this framework into actions will take the use of decision support tools which we've also developed for IPPM and that will help growers and advisors and researchers come together and really release the benefits for food security. Mm -hmm.